Hello everyone, my name is Michelangelo and welcome to my channel. Today, I have a new holster. It is the T-Rex Arms Raptor. Pretty cool looking holster, no? Well, there are, uh, I wore it today for the first time. Um, obviously, I configured it differently. So if you look, the gun is empty. And basically what we're going to go over today, where'd I put it? There is actually a bag. So it does come with a bag. So originally, this clip is is on the holster, right? So as you can see, the, the the dark rings where they go where they go. But personally, when I had this clip on, it rode a little too high for for me anyway. It rode too high. So it does come with the secondary clip, and as you can see, there's already kind of a slight problem with it. Uh, if I were to put it over here, right? You can see that there's a very serious bend. So just kind of keep that in mind if you plan on using this clip. And if you already look, there's there's kind of like a crease or a mark or indent. I don't know what that is. I don't know if I made that or if it came that way. But, but yeah, so there's already a, a kind of like a, a noticeable mark on day one. So just keep that in mind. You might have to buy. Essentially, all you just need is bigger spacers. The spacers that came with the claw are not tall enough to are not tall enough to deal with this clip. So if you do not plan on using the the single wide clip that sits up here, make sure you just are aware of that. So what are my impressions? Um, it's not a bad holster. It's literally a sidecar, but without the Mad Caddy. Uh, they use the same claw um, and has the same pretty much design. The only thing that I really noticed that when I first got it, I don't know if I can turn this far enough, but underneath here, underneath the, the trigger, uh, where the, the trigger normally sits, instead of it uh, caving in, it caves out. It kind of bulges, which for me seems kind of counterintuitive. You might be able to see it. Yeah, you can see it here in the camera, like right here in the center. You see how it bows, it, it bulges out instead of in. Uh, I don't really understand the design of that, to be honest. Uh, now keep in mind this is about a sixty-five or seventy-dollar holster. I don't don't quite remember. Uh, one thing you will notice is that if you look here, you can actually see the serial number of. Ooh, my hands are really shaky. You can actually see the serial number of the gun they use to form it. I don't know if that's a real serial number or if they just put it in there for for an effect, but nevertheless, there is a serial number in it. And as you can see, there's nothing too special about the interior. It's not labeled in any way. Uh, luckily, I don't have a million holsters or a million different guns, so it's pretty obvious what this would fit. Um, and then obviously the fish scales back here gives it away pretty good too. But overall, it's a for day one impressions, it's not a bad holster. I didn't have any problems with it. One thing I did notice is that even though this is a one and a half belt clip, there is a lot of play, just like the, the Revcom. Revcom, the Revcon, the Black Arch Revcon, there's a lot of play. So when I actually put it on, like the the claw like had so much there was so much wiggle room that the claw like it was it was completely on the belt the entire time. Don't get me wrong, but it was just like there was just a lot of movement, and I personally didn't like that. So, uh, and I I felt this within just walking around my house before I even left to go to school. But, but yeah, and then so that's why I put this on before I left for school. This was a major improvement. It stayed exactly where I wanted. Like I said. Uh, in my previous videos, I prefer very stationary holsters. I don't like holsters that 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 conform my body and move. I'd rather just have it sit still the entire time. But that's for the day one impressions. That's all I got. This is an Arctic White, and uh, it said a one to three week uh, lead time or whatever. But this came in about two weeks. That doesn't mean that'll happen for you. As the holidays are coming up, I'm sure like they're gonna start getting backed up here soon. But uh, yeah, I mainly bought this holster for my shield because the sidecar is literally almost twice the size, right? And I'll, I'll actually show a comparison here in a minute. I'm I'm going to cut, so just give me one second. And we are back. So just to kind of show you, this actually has the high guard on it. If you just put them right over each other, it is quite literally, the Raptor is quite literally a carbon copy of the sidecar without the mag caddy and as you can see with the mag caddy it is almost twice the width 
All right, going over this again is twice the width. So it's just a lot of real estate and appendix. So with that being said, like I said, this is nice for a really small form factor. I mainly bought this to see what it would be like to wear, right? Uh, before I committed to getting one for my FNX. Because as you all know, for the FNX 9 that I have, which is right here with the Vetter holster, uh, the Vetter holster doesn't, the, with the, the, the specific claw, it doesn't sit right. Now, in theory, I could just replace the claw and I should be fine, which I'm probably going to do at this point because with the way the the Raptor Road with its default um, with its default clip and how like it like to move and stuff, I can already tell with a heavier gun that would just be worse. And also, I don't know how supportive or how long this single clip will last in this configuration, like with it being bent like this. Well, it's not so bent this way, but but with it being bent like this, um, even ever so slightly over time, I don't know how long this piece of plastic is going to last. And also, I don't know if this single clip will actually hold up to the weight of the FNX because I'm pretty sure the FNX is not, I want to say twice the weight, but it's it's like 10 ounces heavier or something like that. It's, it's obviously a lot heavier because I have 10 plus one here in the shield, which is a single stack plus compared to the, the 17 plus one in, in the FNX. So... That's pretty much my first impressions of the Raptor Claw. I'm definitely going to use it for the shield for when I don't want to carry the sidecar. Don't get me wrong. The sidecar is a wonderful holster. It really is. It's just a lot of real estate uh, for it's just a lot of real estate for what it is. And basically just uh, the kind of, ju I guess, justify what, why I got the Raptor is that like, so this, this is great if I'm just carrying all day or I'm going about my business all day and doing fine. But if I want to go to the gym, right, taking this holster off and putting it in my gym locker or taking my holster off and putting it in the car is going to be pretty difficult in comparison to just taking this off. Like, this is one single clip. It's not nearly as big. It won't cause as much attention. And, uh, and this was actually super comfortable. There was no form of, what do you call it? Uh, there's no, there was no form of like pressure points or anything and the claw worked fantastic. Definitely no complaints for the day one impression. Keep in mind, I have only worn this for a day, uh, less than eight hours, mind you, that I do like this holster. Obviously I will have a one month and six month review of this holster and, and I will keep you all updated. So thank you for watching. Please hit like, if you like the video, uh, subscribe if you want to catch more content and I will see y'all in the next one.